What up, YouTube? It's Hot and Ready. We're back with the $5 podcast again. And, of course, I'm here with... Oh, what's good, everybody? Xavier, I'm back at it. What's good? Phoenix, the podcast god. What's up, YouTube? What's good, everybody? The podcast god. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Now I need a new name. Fuck with me. Now, I'm just going to go by Xavier from now on. Fuck the zombie part. I'm just, just call me Xavier, dog. Yeah, oh, really? It's all good, oh, really? Baby. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah, we can just change names or whatever. All right, Jesse. What? what? Oh, my bad. My bad. Already. Fuck. Already. Already. All right. So, uh, we got a few things to talk about today. Some crazy shit. Yeah, long two point. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. A- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This boy Jesse came up with that two, a list. He was like, "Yeah, I got a list, guys." He's like, "Yeah, what you got on there?" You know, oh, we got two things on the video. Yeah, I couldn't have said nothing, right? <laughs> you don't even have to be on the podcast. <laughs> <Bad>. Fuck off. <laughs> I know what the two point list, bro. I ain't get paid enough for it. <laughs> like, you did the PowerPoint 30 seconds before class started or some shit. Shit. What's up? Get? So, I guess we'll go ahead and start off with um, this uh, fucking Shishwan sauce oh, bullshit. Shishwan sauce. I don't That's know. That's Shishwan sauce, Morty. We gotta get uh, the sauce, Morty. So, like, last weekend on Saturday only, uh, they released uh, the Shishwan sauce. Uh, again, from the was, movie Mulan. Yeah, it was Mulan. It was like a special. Team yeah, there. and um, <laughs> they re-released it because it got a lot of hype from, of course, Rick and Morty. You follow Rick and Morty? I've never seen one episode yeah. of Rick and Morty. I, bro. I'm, I like uh, it. I it's just the Swishman sauce clips. He was like, "Yeah, I'm trying to get these Swishman sauce, man." <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck is this dude it's, doing?" That name is really hard to say. Like to keep saying Swishman yeah. teriyaki dipping sauce. Mm. I love it. Yeah, see, I yeah. haven't seen that shit, but no, no I, I've watched it. Uh, it's okay. It's the best I show mean, on comedy. It's it's not it's not that whoa, good. Whoa, I yes, think it's overhyped. Whoa, 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 overhyped. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I think it the trumps. I, yeah, I think it trumps Family Guy like easily. <laughs> not South Park. Yeah, not mm. South Park. No, 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 no. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a different discussion. No, it, it, okay, yeah. no, no. We can talk about it right now, nigga. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's good? Uh, hey, you can't say. Well, hold on. You can't say Family Guy anymore. Like, the that scene, shit kind of fell off. Yeah, no, I was uh, still when, funny. Yeah, when the mm. kind of because like when the hurricane hit, uh, and I was gone for like two two weeks off meditating, you know, in Austin land. Um, <laughs> I actually uh, that was the first time I watched Rick and Morty. The first time I watched it, I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was all right. Like, I didn't think it was too crazy for like you know as many people that said anything about it. But I tried watching Family Guy, like the newer episodes that they had on Netflix and stuff. It's just the same. It's like they they they're for, I mean I I know their formula works, but like I sat there and watched it. I think I watched like two episodes. And I was like I can't watch this no more. I mean it's, it's the same. Yeah, it's funny, but it's just the same old shit still. But I mean whatever. But I think that's why I like Rick and Morty. It's different, you know. It's uh, it's funny. Rick's it's a dick, there, bro. Right? Oh yeah, bro, yeah, Rick, bro. It's I think one episode like oh, I guess not to sound too weird. It, it it sounds weird. It's like probably like the only episode I don't like. It's like. Long story short, this dude, I guess, like, kind of, like, survived, like, in the weird-ass world or whatever that he got abandoned in by incest cannibalism. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm yeah. being dead serious. Like, he finds creatures there. He, this, this, this is exactly what he does. He, like, fucks them, and he eats the babies. And that's how he survived for, like, years. That's what I do. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like outcast but I don't know, he has babies with Wilson I guess and he eats the babies to survive for man, years. Shit, Park did the same thing, man. Remember the crab people? They was doing oh. shit to yeah, the crab people. The crab people? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's funny cuz Rick and Morty the newest episode they actually make mention of, of uh South Park. Oh, what they say? They, they didn't say nothing bad oh, um, cuz like um, uh, let me see if you let me see if you can answer this for me. Does South Park have a Minecraft episode? Oh hell yeah! Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Funny. Okay, so I guess in the South, uh, in the Rick and Morty episode, they uh, do it. Um, they uh, they do a Minecraft episode, and they just kind of cut off to it because they like breaking the fourth wall a lot. And um, they're like, "Oh come on, let's go. We gotta go do whatever the adventure was or whatever." And he's like, "Wait, what about Minecraft?" He's like, "South Park did it four years ago." And then Morty's like, oh, damn, they're fast. And he's like, or maybe our production is slow. No, like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, they kind of, like, low-key, like, praised him, you know what I mean? It was kind of, I thought it was kind of, I thought it was kind of funny. But I understand, I think Justin Rowland is, like, or one of the two is, like, friends with the creator of South Park or whatever. 
or is I think it's his idol or whatever. I don't know. It's something like that. I know he has some kind of relation. I feel it. South Park's probably like the only other show. I give it. Uh, I guess I. I I'd still think it's the funniest. I think it's the funniest show out right now. Okay, I guess. I guess. It's the funniest show out right now, but it definitely trumps like Futurama, American Dad, chi- uh, Robot. Mm-hmm. I'd say Chicken it's, Little Chicken, Robot it's, Chicken. Futurama. Uh, no, I, really, I'm, okay. I don't really fuck with Futurama. Fu- Futurama is probably like my favorite animated show. That All, shit is funny. Dun, um, dun, dun, I only watch Futurama I mean, when I'm fucking. Dun, dun. But anyways, well, I'm dead serious. Like, like if I want like some background music, I I I'll just play okay, some yeah. Futurama while I'm plowing somebody. That, but Sorry, I don't care for Rick and time. Morty does remind me of Futurama a lot. It's like, yeah, all the science and bullshit, yeah. Like, yeah. It's definitely um, like not a good replacement, but it's like, you know, a good show to go to after you like you finish Futurama and shit. Yeah. Okay. Or like, you know, just kind of a side one. Like so, a side show. So anyway, what about that Trish Montas? What, what was going on with it? I know they released it for like a weekend or some shit, right? No, no they're for, supposed they to release re- it. They released it for one day on okay. last Saturday last or this Saturday. Saturday. I was watching the news the other day. These motherfuckers are going crazy for that shit, dude. There's like line, people yeah. lined up at a McDonald's and shit. Yeah. Wait, I actually went to McDonald's and I ordered it as Rick. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like no, no, no. It, it made me mad because they're like, who are you? Like, who? who? They're like, the first thing they asked me was like, whose voice were you trying to impersonate? I was like, the whole reason this fucking sauce is here? <laughs> yeah, Rick reason. Sanchez? And they're like, what's that? You ever watch Rick and Morty? Oh, that's is that what it's from? Yeah, that's why you work at McDonald's. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I, never mind. I was literally, I was gonna ask my cousin like to go to McDonald's get me just one packet, but there was only at three McDonald's in the whole of Houston. Whole Houston area. So I was like, I'm months. not gonna make him go through that bullshit. Yeah. So I just didn't even ask, but I did want some, so, just to, just to try it or whatever. I yeah, it. I've seen him. You see what they you see what they look like? They actually have like yeah. Rick and Morty on them. Yeah, I was like, like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> that was, that was kind of um, funny. Apparently, like all the sauces are getting like some kind of like weird cover poster on them. Mm-hmm. And they, when they brought that one back, they put one of those stupid ass posters. Well, on I bet they're gonna sell a shitload of uh, McNuggets because of this. They did. Oh yeah, nah, they, yeah, they, yeah they, that shit was. But they're like when they release it to everybody, like every yeah. McDonald's. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna, gonna go crazy. it's gonna go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So they apparently now they are supposed to release it to mm-hmm. everyone. And yeah. What if it's tra- what if the sauce just tastes it's, like shit? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what <if> it's <laughs> What's teriyaki sauce? Is it fuck with teriyaki? Teriyaki sauce. sauce? Teriyaki chicken's good. So, I, uh, but I don't see how that would. I know, I'm classic ranch. I love ranch. Oh yeah. Buttermilk ranch. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Ranch is everybody. fucking gross. The <laughs> fuck is ranch? Nigga, what? Yeah, that shit is fucking... nasty, Wait, bro. Ranch on anything. Ranch with chip, barbecue chicken wings, and ranch. Oh, oh my yeah. fucking god. Oh, dude, I think it tastes better with ranch. You ever had pussy with ranch? Oh, you don't I like ranch. Never mind. Sauce. Have you had pussy at all? Pussy and barbecue <laughs> sauce? I had pussy and ranch. Uh, I think it was my sophomore year of college. Yeah, that shit was crazy. It was awesome. Asian girl. But it, it, uh, we'll talk about that later. Another episode. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what was the next one? But you yeah. Um, <laughs> fucking Wait, shit one sauce. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know if y'all gave a shit, but... Okay, somebody has to fucking be loud as fuck outside. Right. Dude, fuck, man. That's that dude with the motorcycle, and every time he parks, like, I can't tell if he's there or not, so I try to, like, turn into the parking spot, <laughs> and the fucking motorcycle's there, I'm like, dude, I'm dude gonna beat your fucking if he's ass in the there. parking spot, just pick his bike up and move it. It's a fucking motorcycle. Y'all, hey, seen, but, y'all seen Fist Fight? With yeah, Ice Cube? Yeah, Fist Fight. Yeah, yeah. They just fucking run over his shit, like Ice Cube when he ran over that kid's scooter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my scooter. No shit. <laughs> I was like, bro. Yeah, dude. I, just, I, never, I have no idea what that guy looks like. I just want to beat his ass up. Dude, dude he's that a fucking side. asshole. Watch fuck him be a chick. Oh, be a chick. Uh, <laughs> some fine ass chick. fine as fuck. I'm going to be like, man, get that fucking motorcycle off. She's going to be like, what'd you say, bitch? <laughs> take her helmet off. What did you just say to me? He's going to be like, and I wanted to smash Ma'am, too. Ma'am, I'm so sorry. I'm taking my, I'm taking my scooter with Ma'am, me. Ma'am, you know what? I'm going to start my three poly, three part apology. I was like, you're a wonderful person. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, um, but yeah, um, some other shit in the news, uh, gaming related. Uh, apparently, uh, it got leaked that Treyarch's next COD is supposed to be Black, Black Ops, Ops Four. Black Ops Four. Hmm. I don't know how yeah. y'all guys feel yeah, about let me, that. Let me, let me go off on this bitch. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah, we got to hear it. First of all, Call of Duty has never done anything past three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. You feel me? I, I just don't know what they're going to do. I mean, 
you can put it in between Black Ops because they, they can't go forward because Black Ops 3 is so far into the future if you go forward it's going to be another shitty futuristic game and no one wants that so anyway I mean I think they could do it in the Black Ops universe but just not call it Black Ops 4 because it's either going to be set between Black Ops 2 and 3 or 1 and 2 mm-hmm. I think the best bet is to go in between 2 and 3 so you like to do that more like futuristic but like keeping boots on the ground but then you can do like all this crazy customization within shit still kind of how like Ghost was so that, that's going to be my best I just think like don't call it Black Ops 4 I was I had an idea it's kind of overkill I have an idea how about they do World at War 2 and it's based modern and it's like World War 3 that's my didn't I tell you that a long ass time ago no <laughs> didn't I tell you that like I mean, I know it's kind of like Modern Warfare 3, kind of, because Modern Warfare 3 is kind of like World War 3. No, but I was thinking, like, because, like, since Sledgehammer's doing World War 2, mm-hmm. they do World War 2 now, and then when their next turn is, they're just going to do World War 3. That's what I was thinking was going to happen. Mm, I don't know. I think they... Well, because the dudes at Sledgehammer, they've already said they like World War 2 shit. Like, I think they're going to keep it in the past. Even in their next game. Probably Vietnam. So yeah. Like okay. So, out of all the people that, well, minus the people that said Black Ops 4, because there's a shitload of people that want Black Ops 4 for some reason. It's but minus like, those people, they've everybody's been saying they want a modern COD from Treyarch, because we haven't seen one yet. Yeah. So, like, I'm guessing between Black Ops 1 and 2. Yeah. I, I mean, that's what I would say, too, and... That's kind of what I want, also. Yeah, I like Modern Warfare. I do the games like Modern Warfare Two and Three were probably the best ones ever. And with this news with Black Ops Four, people are also saying <laughs> Modern Warfare Four, which yeah, uh, is fuck. I mean, if they do that, that's fucked. Just, like, just do Ghost Please too. don't. Yeah, just do Ghost Two. I'd rather have, have Ghost Two. Yeah, they should have done that this year. Yeah, no. Just make it like a year after Ghost. And it had a great story. Their campaign it did. was fucking amazing for Ghost. I actually awesome. just got through re- replaying that shit. That shit fun, man. He pulls you right off the beach. Yeah. I know what the fuck happens. You know, <laughs> you want to know what happens, and it just I could just do Ghost Two, man. Just keep it like a year later, all the same movement, and everything. Just change up everything mm-hmm. else about the multiplayer. Just keep the movement. Yeah. The prestige system was stupid. Dude, that was that was probably the stupidest <laughs> prestige system that I've ever seen in a COD. That was that, and the UAV. Oh my god. The oh SATCOM. my god, the SATCOM was the worst. Dude, I went fuck. Uh, I mean, I liked Ghost. I mean, I didn't. I just didn't like the certain things in it. It was stupid. I got to like level forty, and I was like, I'm not playing this shit no more. Same thing with Infinite Warfare. I got to like forty two, and I'm like, I'm not playing this shit no more. I mean, fuck I like sick. Infinite Warfare. <laughs> I mean, oh, I like every yeah. COD, but fuck it. Yeah, whatever. I like every single COD. Except for Advanced Warfare. Fuck Advanced Warfare. Um, I'm Anything? still waiting for Kingdom Hearts 3. That's all I gotta say. Oh, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't never really play first. This shit. I really, I really, I don't know. I don't really don't play first person. They, they like, pushed that shit back another year? What's up? Today they released it. They said we're pushing it back one more year. Uh, I know. Originally they said they were nah, gonna be 2020 anyways. Nah, I'm fucking with you, dog. Oh, okay. 2020? 2020. I was like, I was like, I was like, damn, bro, you've had us waiting for like 14 years. That better be like the best <laughs> game ever made or some shit, dog. Like, I've been waiting for fucking 14 years for a fucking game. What was I saying? Um, I just recently started getting into COD. I like zombies. Oh, yeah. Uh, Recently, recently, I love zombies. um, uh, Justin has been the one getting me into it recently. I think I'd I'd like it if I played it more and I got more into it. We'll see. But I am excited for World War II. I'll say that much as far as mm-hmm. Black Ops 4 goes because it's probably the one I, the one, uh, Black Ops 3 is probably the one that I've had I've played the most I wouldn't be mad as long as it doesn't suck I won't be yeah. mad I hope so I mean um, just my personal opinion like I said I just I like every COD yeah so I mean it won't, it won't really matter to me I'll, I'll still play it <coughs> man you're gonna buy it because it's a yeah. COD so yeah, yeah. alright that bitch pre- I, almost pay, I think I almost paid it off for it. <laughs> I'm gonna steal but I, another know, like, water from you, bro. I would rather, it's I would rather not. Need some cold water in the freezer, bro. Some cold some. water. Yeah, some cold it. water. Oh, uh, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's Black Ops Four, I guess. Yeah, I, guess no, I mean, four, I, I, mean we'll I really, I really don't. We'll find out in like yeah. March. That's usually when the leak, the real leaks start coming out. So we'll see. Fuck it. 
What you got for me, dog? That trash ass Eminem freestyle. Oh, oh, when he worked on Donald Trump like that. That shit was garbage. <laughs> oh. oh my fucking god! Look, bro. Here's my thing, man. Like, I don't. I'm a big hip hop head. I make music myself. Um, I don't know if y'all knew that. Um, trash. Add to me. I don't know. My mixtape <laughs> fired. Not really. Anyways, um. I take Eminem into very, very... I. Everyone, I think, in this room and anywhere knows that you can argue that Eminem's probably one of... As far as, like, rapping ability-wise goes, Eminem's probably, like, the top ten that ever exists. Like, maybe not, like, his message himself, but, like, his ability to rap and freestyle is definitely top ten ever. Um, have y'all ever heard any other Eminem freestyles? Like, the 2.0, the... The acapella cipher. I mean, I don't really. You don't fuck with Eminem like that. Not, not really. I mean, what, if he has like shit popping, like I mean, I'll listen to it, but I don't really like, you know, follow him. Really. You Xavier? Um, I don't fuck with rap like y'all do. I just fuck with Amigos. <laughs> hey, shout this out Quavo. Shout dude. out Takeo. Shout out Offset. Y'all hear this you shit? Forgot the fourth Migo. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> these nuts, nigga. Oh, these, these nuts. <laughs> I'm fuck with you, though. Know. J. Cole or Kendrick Lamar, I probably ain't listening to Man, J. Cole's so. a fucking fag. J. Cole. Bro. What the fuck? I hate J. Cole. That nigga Dude. trash. Hell he's, still, no. he's still living on Forest Hill Drives, but it's exactly. all good, Anyways, Eminem is like one of the best rappers ever exists. Still. Period. And his, like, his ability to rap is like incredible. I remember he did a cipher a while back. It's kind of the shady something. It was the same. It was, it was basically the same way like how this new freestyle was. It was him and all the p- other people in his label. Everybody from Slaughterhouse, Yellow Wolf, and and Royce, and he he went off on that freestyle. I remember like when he did that freestyle, he rapped for like eight nine minutes, just going off, it going and it, and it was perfect. It was seamless, and it's the same way. And I say the same way because there was no beat. It was all acapella. You know, and he was just going off with these bars, and you know, I mean, I, I'm I'm pretty sure I've heard of some of his music. Mm-hmm. You know, especially his recent music, he changed the pace. He could rap really fast out of nowhere, and just make things that uh, I guess a typical rapper couldn't rhyme. He can, he makes it work somehow. You know what I mean? And so, like when I heard like the Donald Trump, Michaela was like, "Hey," because she's a big Eminem fan. She's like, "Look," she's like, "Listen to this freestyle." I heard it. I was like, "This is garbage." <laughs> I like look. I like the message. Even though I, it's kind of typical, because like I, I, I know Eminem's never liked Trump. He's always bashed on Trump, and I, I, it was only a matter of time till he says something. You know, now that he's president. Yeah. First off, before anything, Eminem, you got to shave or something, bro. You look kind of bummy in that video. <laughs> I couldn't even tell it was him at first. Hey, I'm shit now. <laughs> like, bro, mm-hmm. that, bro, he looked more homeless than Vietnam name mom. But anyway, that's not the point, bro. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> like. It kind of makes me mad because I think a lot of people think it's a lot better than it is because it's Eminem. Because oh, yeah, he can freestyle yeah. like that, it's like, yeah. oh, like it's badass. No, the message is dope. The message is fire. Like, what he's talking about is dope. The way he went about it, I, I didn't like it. it. It sucked. It seemed like the pauses in between what he was saying was too long. Like, you can tell, like, it, took, it, was, it was, he was thinking way, he was thinking way too much just saying any of it. And it, to me, he really didn't start getting good. What is it like four or five minutes long, right? He didn't yeah. get start getting like like going off. So I was like, okay, this is dope. Until like the last two minutes of it, that I was like, okay, this is Eminem. Or I guess again, I'm just super critical because like I've heard to do freestyle way better. And to me, like it's like if like you want to make like if you're trying to make like a movement. If you're trying to make people hear like what you have to say, like. It's like this. How are you going to rap that good in a freestyle uh, for that cypher that nobody knows about? You, have any of y'all listened to the Shady 2.0 cypher? No, I haven't. That's, that's what I thought. But he fucking went off on that bitch. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He went off on it, but hardly anybody's heard of it. But in a in a video where you know you're going to diss Donald Trump, that you know a lot of people are going to make a, a you know are going to make a big deal of it, why would you be trash? Like, why at that moment would you be like, okay... <laughs> I'm gonna go half ass on it. Yeah. And besides, Eminem's my son, bro. I would smoke that dude in a rap battle. Oh, but that's a different oh, story, bro. Shit. That's a different okay. story, bro. Hey, man, let's keep uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I want. I got faith in you, dog. But shit, bro. <laughs> Eminem walk up right now. I ain't saying nothing to him. Uh, yeah, bro, I'm gonna just... slap him, beat him in a rap battle, and fuck his daughter, bro. Oh, All in the same oh, day, bro. <laughs> bro, his bro. daughter's fine as fuck. Oh my god, bro. I'm in love with that bitch, bro. Um, she's so fine. 
But yeah, like is she white and rich. That's all I want in a woman. That's literally all I want: uh, white and rich. Or daddy rich. So. Her daddy's rich. rich, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I agree with you though. Like the message is, is pretty good. This is there. I, I like I like the message. Um, the the freestyle itself. I mean, it was mediocre. Yeah. Um, but it's overhyped yeah, again because it's eminent because Marshall Mathers. Well, not even that too. It's just because he's dissing Donald Trump, yeah, and that's, and that's you know true. what everybody does. You know that's like the cool thing to do. Yeah, now. if you're cool, you diss Donald Trump. Especially um, if you're eminent, Trump, you the Donald goat, Trump. dog, for all the wrong reasons. But just know you the goat, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> build that wall, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that's a, pretty much the only reason. It's cool. Like I that, like that Uncle it's even blue anyways. <laughs> like Felipe. That's why I think got fired anyway. No, not right? him. I saw Uncle Felipe, but. <laughs> oh, shout out Felipe. Morning, bro. Shout out Felipe. Hey, shout out. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Hey, thanks for that Panda Express that one day. Hell bro. yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, you bought me Panda Express. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. I pre- appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it, cut. You heard me. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I got to say on that shit. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I ain't even listen to it. I you know, don't. You haven't heard other white people hyping it up. That's all I saw. Um, it was pretty. It was like I said. It was mediocre or whatever. Yeah. He says like, uh, if you're a fan of mine and you support Trump, fuck you. Like you're not a fan of me. Yeah. (laughs) No, he literally said fuck you. Yeah, yeah, he said it like that too. Didn't he do it at the BET Awards? That's what it was. Yeah, that's where it was. The BET Awards. Awards? Because he's (laughs) he's honorary black person. Bro, I'm not white. (laughs) He just making black. They're just like, hey, you can come chill. Yeah. Right. No, you, you see, see better than Snoop, Snoop on Instagram, he said, "M, I love that that uh, that freestyle." He's like, "I always knew you was a real nigga." Man, <laughs> 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 mm. didn't even type it. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas too too good. Nah, he made a Busy video. Getting, huh? Oh, for real? He made a video on Instagram. Yo, Snoopy posting shit like like one of them old dads. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He be posting shit. I'm like, with the, with the camera all close and shit looking at. Hey. Hey, oh, what's up, man? speaking of which, speak, since you brought up Snoop, you heard that new show he's supposed to be doing, that game show? Um, nah. Yeah, um, what, me and the homie... Wait, the one with Martha Stewart? <laughs> I know he's doing a show with Martha Stewart. No, no, no. <laughs> no, they're Stewart. fucking, that's different. Um, but anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways. Martha Stewart, <laughs> Snoop Dogg fucking, bro. Bro, that's like money, bro. I it. I <laughs> that's money. It. Nah, um, I was, a. Uh, when uh, me and the homie Martin, shout out to him, uh, went to the movies to go watch Blade Runner. Not that great of a movie, by the way, guys. It's okay. But anyways, uh, you know how they show like the previews to like different shows and movies and crap. Yeah. Apparently, Snoop Dogg is supposed to be making a new uh, a game show. Mm-hmm. Him and um, what the fuck is the other rapper's name? I cannot think. Was it Lupe Fiasco? It's some other like old old rapper. They're both making like two different shows, and they're both. Uh, I think they're starting on HBO on the same day. One, it's uh, Snoop Dogg. He's making like his own like. like oh, Fifty Cent. Sh- I know Fifty Cent doing the show now too. I don't know if it was Fifty Cent. I don't remember. I know some other old school rapper, but but like in the commercial, it has both of them or whatever, uh, talking about it. And um, Snoop, that that other dude's supposed to do, I guess, something kind of like similar to like. I guess to like The Voice or like American Idol, but it's only for rap. Which hey, sounds kind of which I sounds feel that. yeah, which sounds kind of cool, right? Yeah, hey, like I feel that. Yeah, um, and he's trying to find, I guess, like he, like the next hip hop sensation or whatever. And it's, it looked pretty cool, you know. It's just normal people, and either they rap like like from what I got from it, like they rap either real songs or like they make their own songs and they get to perform it. And, mm-hmm. and they and him and a couple other I can't remember the other rappers who were judging. Uh, Maybe it was Lupe Fiasco, one of the judges. I, I, now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't seem like it was him. They, I guess they judge or whatever, and uh, I guess it's like a competition. Again, like American Idol, I guess. Yeah. But for rappers, which I thought that was kind of cool. No, I feel that. But uh, Snoop Dogg is supposed to be doing like a game show now, like uh, like a deal or no deal type shit. <laughs> what the fuck? No, nah, but it's crazy because he was – because like – like the ant, like the ant, or like Family Feud, because like the answers to some of the questions are like, like either like sexual things or like things that had to do with smoking. Because I know like one of them, <laughs> it says some shit like, like the questions was like, uh, 
Like everybody, every true Snoop Dogg fan should know this. What's his favorite hour on the clock? And the answer was four twenty. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And he's like, "That's my favorite hour on the clock." <laughs> like you know, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, uh, it, it should look wild. There's supposed to premiere on the same day. Did you ever hear his uh, UFC commentator? And he's hired by the UFC to commentate. Oh shit! No. Yeah. What? Yeah, For real? Yeah, no. He, he'll like go over like after the fight's done and be like, "Damn, nigga." <laughs> Damn, nigga, shit, bro. You know how Snoop Dogg Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this shit on YouTube where he does like, uh, like with the animals. Yeah, <laughs> that nature shit or whatever. That's just pretty funny. Mm-hmm. You're like, damn, you let him kick him in the head like that, shit, bro. What the fuck? Oh, you're, you're, oh, the one like, oh, god damn, that lion get the fuck out of that gazelle, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Yeah, I've seen it. But yeah, now you brought up Snoop Dogg. What do you, what'd you say you said about the Eminem freestyle? What? What did you said you, you brought you brought up Snoop. You said you said something about Eminem's freestyle. Oh yeah, he said uh, I always knew you was a real nigga. Should have been a good friend. Told him that shit was trash. Yeah, he. I mean, I mean, he, he okay. should have. To be honest, like I mean, it wasn't. I'm not gonna say it was trash. It's it was best. okay, it was but it wasn't the best. It's my son, fuck out of here. Oh shit, it was trash. My bro. son, my <laughs> son. Shit, oh, still living off of eight mile money, looking nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh mom spaghetti looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, so I guess we're gonna get into a story or some shit that Xavier got. Nah, I mean, if y'all wanna hear it, you get uh, hot and ready was there, and you haven't heard it yet, Phoenix. Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> anyway, this is back. This is a while back. Let me hear it. When I was working at you get my, my popcorn. It was our, what, real our quick. freshman year of uh, college, right? Yeah. Hot and ready. What's up? It was our freshman year of college, right? Freshman year of college. We was at the University of Houston. Alright, yes, we aren't that stupid. We went to the we dropped out, but I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like That's Kanye, college yeah. dropout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shout shit. out Yeezy. Was at All U- hell Yeezus. University of Houston. I was working at this restaurant called Los Reyes. It's a little Mexican restaurant. It got busy every few nights and shit. Mm-hmm. You get some regulars in, and uh, they had some. I think it was a margarita or something. It was like Friday. Mm-hmm. And these hoes walking. There's three of them. Three of these hoes. The three of them things. <laughs> three of them things. But they're like, I'm like, shit, what was that, 18, 19? These hoes came in. They was about 30, oh, 31. They, they was looking mm-hmm. good. It wasn't bad at all. They was all drinking and shit. And they were just being like, you know how old ladies flirt? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they'd be all touching on your arm and shit. And she was like, so what's your name? I was like, oh, I'm Xavier. And so she was like, you knew, you knew to Houston and all that? I was like, yeah, just knew I'm over there at the University of Houston right now. She's like, you live by yourself? I was like, Hell no, I don't live by myself. Oh, hell yeah, I do. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I do. No, no, when my boy Jesse was at work, he was at work too, so I like, fuck him. I was mm-hmm. like, all right. She's like, oh, what you doing later? I was like, when you get off? I get off around 11. She was like, oh, can we go by there tonight? Oh, they were just two of them. The other one said, she's not, she's going home to her man. Mm-hmm. Two of them, they were like, yeah, we're going to go by there tonight. I was like, all right, hell yeah. Bit. Bet. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Bet. And so I hit Jesse up. I'm like, hey, bro, I got two bitches coming over tonight, and they both down the floor. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> this fucking dude, bro. I was, I was like, dude, they are both down the floor tonight. He was like, nah, fuck you. You ain't getting shit. Nah, I, was like, I was like, bitch, they, one's for me, one's for you. He was like, Yo, all right, bet. Okay, <laughs> look, let me pause you right there. Okay. I mean, you gonna say that either way. Like, if it's your boy, he's like, I'm about to fuck. You gonna say no, you ain't. <laughs> Just because, because if he is, you want you you in denial because you ain't fucking. Man, yeah. hold up. It, it, before anything, bro, I wouldn't even have trusted him. I'd be like, you remember that movie incident? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gonna be hurt. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. I still, I still don't trust him fully. <laughs> I got like a 70, 40 trust. That kind of shit, man. <laughs> Them, them numbers don't even add up. <laughs> That's like 70, 30. Because he, he don't trust me that much. And I definitely don't trust him that much. Nigga. Well, I was like, I was like, because I ain't never took no bitch home from like the restaurant. Especially, like, we had just moved there. We was just in Houston for a little bit. So I was like, all right, I'm going to fuck these Houston bitches. Yeah. So I'll kid Jesse up. We got some bitches coming out. He's like, ah, fuck you. I'm like, nigga, you need to come home now. As soon as you get off work. So he get off work. We got like 12 that night. You got an hour after me. Yeah. I get home at 11. I hurry up, take a shower, put my put my sweatpants on, everything, trying to look all good and fresh. Yeah, you gotta get a little half chubs when yeah, they walk in the room. <laughs> they think you're bigger than you are. Yeah, yeah. Half chubs. <laughs> oh shit! So these bitches come. They was two Mexican bitches. They were, they were, one was a little thick too. She wasn't bad. I'm pretty sure she had like two kids by then. But whatever. I was down. Look it. You have a third, no? No. And then, <laughs> <laughs> I 
tried to. I haven't, I haven't got to that part yet. Okay. But anyway, we get through it, and she come in. She got a little six pack smearing off with her. I'm like, you dirty hoe. And the other one we got a four loco. Oh, of course so she you, does. One of them had to have a four loco. Mm-hmm. I was like, you dirty ass hoes. So <laughs> at that moment, I knew I was in. I was in with one of them. So I was just waiting for Jesse to get on. I hit him up right there. I was like, hey, dog, they here. Come through now. I was like, you need to be here in like 10 minutes, bro. Before I start fucking both of them. So we get there and we get, we start making out one of the bitches. Mm-hmm. She's like, all right, let's go to the bed. And the other one's staying in the room. Mm-hmm. And, but, okay, this is where I fucked up. You know, like you waiting tables. You remember this, bro? You keep it, you get your little book. You yeah. You kind of leave your tips in there. Yeah. I left that bitch in the living room. Ah, <laughs> you. Uh, Nick, all right. So I get out, we get to the bedroom. I'm like, oh shit, this is happening now. I start taking my pants off, taking that, and she taking everything off, taking my shirt off. She was like, hold up, let me tie you real quick. Because I had this big ass bed frame. Mm-hmm. She was like, I'm going to tie you to the bed. I'm like, nigga, bet. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, bet, bitch, what you mean? I never had that weird shit before. <laughs> so she starts tying me to the bed. Like, oh my God, like, this shit is about to get. This shit getting real right now. Well, I'm a man right now. Huh. I'm going to learn today. I'm going to learn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to learn today. And then she get done, dog. And I should have known. She started giggling. And I was like, oh, my God, no. I was like, my shit went half down or something mm-hmm. like that. I was scared. <laughs> I was like, oh, my fucking God. This bitch. She going to do so some weird good. shit. Yeah, she started giggling and shit. And she told her homegirl to come to the room. So that next thing you know, these two bitches are in the room. Looking at all my shit, looking through my drawers, oh. everything, bro. Like, this bitch, I'm over here freaking out. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is this for? Oh, he's still, oh, he's still out. He's still out. <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh my god, this fucking bitch, man. I'm, I felt stupid as fuck, man. Oh. And then the, Por they say, um, I had them rock revivals on, them $170 pair of jeans. Yeah. Took them hoes with my wallet. And, yeah. my t- and my tips from that night. I had, I had a good 150 in tips that night. Both them hoes took that shit. They took it. Next thing, the, the worst part, they they just bounced. They out, and I'm left there. And I guess they knew I was, I was here. Jesse, up, they left as soon as they got that shit. Next thing you know, Jesse come in, knocking on the door, banging. I like, say, "What the fuck going on?" I'm like, "Hey, dog, hurry up!" All right, I'm trying to yell, but the door is kind of like far away from that door. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yelling. I'm like, hurry up, man. This nigga walks in, me butt ass naked, on the fucking bed, tied up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> what? What'd you say? What'd you say to me? What'd you say? I said, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> this thing, he was tied up, for real, for real, tied up in the bed, fully nude. All right, okay. This will happen. I got to the house. I'm ready to. I'm ready to get it in because this. He told me it's a. It's a. It's a go. I thought, I thought it was guaranteed. So I'm like, all right. I'm ready to go. The I, I walk to the to the front door. The front door open. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit! I just open the door. I'm looking around. I don't see Xavier or the girls. Ah. All right. So I'm like, what the fuck? And my then door was I, closed. My door was closed. They shut the door on. Then me. I hear. Mm-mm. Then I hear Xavier. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> He's yelling and shit. How long were you in there for? It was a good 20 minutes. Oh, that's just funny. I was trying not to worry too much. I knew my boy was coming back. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. I was pissed off, dog. That's funny. So I heard him screaming. I thought they were, like, you know, putting, like, shit in his ass or something like that. (laughs) All right. So I walked to the the bedroom. I expect to open the door and see two fine ass hoes. All right. And Xavier. Yeah. No, I got a full on. I got a full-on naked Xavier oh, screaming God. at me. These hoes got me. These hoes got me. I'm like, what oh the fuck? God, These hoes got me, dog. They got me good, dog. Oh, my God. Young, naive, stupid in Houston. I didn't know what I was doing, bro. They got me, bro. And joke's on you. You should have followed my lead. I went home with the married one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, I never saw the bit. They never went back to the restaurant. I worked there for another year. I was never went back. Man. I mean, they wouldn't go back and see your ass. <laughs> He's in a big city, dog. Know, <laughs> they got plenty of Mexican restaurants. Yeah, I know. <laughs> plenty of other young, naive Mexicans to <laughs> go do the same shit, too. I know, man. 
Plenty of other they, wiggers. Hey, did they at least leave you to smear enough in the four loco? <laughs> oh, they was there, yeah. yeah. Of course they did. The four loco was all half drinking and shit, and the smearing off like half one was open. Fucking bitch. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Oh, here you go, mijo, so for they, your troubles. They had, to, they had to spend some money to make some money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit, they took it good. Three, three fifty for me. Oh, Jesus I was, Christ. I was mad, man. And my rock revivals. I still ain't seen them those ever. Psst. Whatever, that was a long time Fuck. ago. We dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck school. Fuck school, man. You don't need school. Get rich off the internet. Mm-hmm. Right, there we go. Yeah, what is That's hilarious, shit, bro. Oh my god. It was bad, man. Yeah. I try not to tell it too much. You no, know, we gotta do an episode where we do nothing but like stories from work. From work? Yeah. Shit, I gotta go on another Tales. one. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure she won't hear it, but I mean. Tales from the Mexican restaurant. Oh, shit. Y'all met my old boss's daughter? Oh, you about, about to, you about to tell that story? I don't know, man. Don't complain, know complain. About, man. It's up to you. Shit. Hey, anyway, there's some bitch I used to fuck with at my old restaurant. I hated him. First of all, I hated my boss. I hated that nigga, dude. I wanted to beat his ass every day, man. Yeah. He's back over there in Houston. Bad, bad. Yeah, and, and his daughter was. She. I don't know, she had a good body, but from the face, she looked like Miss Piggy. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> all right, dog. Looked like a puppet, mm-hmm. dog. She looked like a puppet. Her, mm-hmm. her ass was popping. All right, hey. Feel me, Justin? Yeah. yeah. No, no, I feel you on that. Okay, that was good. So I was like, all right. Yeah, and the petite one, too, shit. Oh he had two God, daughters. The petite one. Oh, my God. Yeah, she she would fuck me, but she knew I was trying to fuck the other sister. Exactly. Yeah, you I mean, fucked up. Yeah, I should have went to that one first. Yep. Because the other one I just did it she a hoe. Anyway, we in the back one day, and she just started grabbing all my shit out of nowhere. And I'm trying to carry, you know, when we carry the plate Hell above yeah. my head, she just yeah. started grabbing all my shit. I'm like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? And she just... God, I didn't, I didn't know what to do. And she was like, meet me in the back, in the freezer. I was like, okay, bet. I hit her bet. in the freezer. That bitch started blowing me in the freezer, dog. In the freezer. What was it cold? It was cold. <laughs> I was like, damn, this shit better hurry. Like, oh, my God. That was one of the craziest things ever. And the other things, too, was like, I, my leg was hitting something. And then mm. I forget my boss when he goes hunting. He keeps all the all the shit and all the meat in the freezer. Mm-hmm. He had a deer head right next to me, bro. <laughs> looking at me. A fucking deer head just looking right at me while I was getting my shit deer, blown Deer up. head while getting hit? Yeah, you know, okay. I was like, oh my God, I don't know who to look at right now. <laughs> there you go. What the hell? Yeah, that's that's he, the only thing I ever did in a restaurant. Man. He ain't the only one to get blown at work. Oh, work. <laughs> oh, yo, you got hurt this one. Let me hear it. you work at Subway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when he was working at Subway in Houston. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my so, God. So, I used to work at Subway and shit. That shit was... I, I like... And I not footlong like much or what? Shit, I was getting footlong every day. I was giving footlong. Wait, whoa, whoa. Hold up, pause. You can say you get it every day. <laughs> hold okay, up. Okay, listen. Retract your statement, bro. Listen, I said I was giving, giving footlong every day. You said getting. You said okay. getting. <laughs> Man, we, we gave it to you. Let's get in this fucking story. All right. <laughs> all right. So, uh... I'm working with this bitch, all right? Mm-hmm. She married, all right? Married. She married. And we, we've been talking this for thing. probably the first two months that I worked there. Mm-hmm. She was always telling me she fucking hated her husband and shit like that. That's mm-hmm. how it usually starts. We, yeah. was, we was working like overnight. Well, not overnights, but like nights and shit yeah. together. Like all the time. So uh-huh. we was basically like always, you know. You always saw her. Yeah. So... You know, I, I get, like, probably, like, three days off or some shit like that. And when I come back, I, I'm working in the morning and shit. And my boss, he's working, too, and we're, we're chilling in the back bullshitting or whatever. And he's like, did you hear about so-and-so? I'm not going to say the name. What's her name? Uh, let's see. Misty? Uh, yeah, we'll call her Misty. Misty. All right. Is that a Pokemon character? Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll man. call her Misty. Um, he said, like, "Did you hear about Misty?" And I said, uh, "Nah, what, what's up? She got fired or some shit?" He was like, "No, she getting a divorce." Oh, and shit. I was like, "Word, Jesus!" <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, she came to the to the restaurant crying and shit, talking about she hates her husband, blah blah blah." Then they're getting a divorce. She caught him cheating or some shit. Um, and I was like, damn, that's fucked up. And so, probably like 
another few days later, mm-hmm. I end up working the night again. With her. And it's with her. Mm-hmm. And she's, uh, she comes in and she's real quiet and she usually not, she was usually not that quiet. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, what's up? You know, I, I had known that she was, yeah, uh, you yeah, know, yeah. getting a divorce. I mean, she didn't know I knew, but whatever. Yeah. So I'm just like, what's up? And she yeah. like, uh, me and my husband, we about to get a divorce. Oh, shit. <laughs> And I was like, damn. You know, I had to act surprised again for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, damn, really? <laughs> yeah, I know that when your friend tells you something, uh, when you, the person what? actually tells you, man, that shit crazy, This bro. is new information. Uh-uh. Um, so, yeah, I got to act surprised and shit. She's like, yeah. She starts crying a little bit. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck that nigga. You know, he's trash. He didn't deserve you and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we keep working and shit together. A few weeks, a few weeks go by, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, we, it's probably like, I think it was on 4th of July. Yeah, on 4th of July. Um, we live in a kind of small town and they mm-hmm. have like some kind of firework show shit every year. Trash. So, it was really late. There was nobody coming into Subway at all. And no, so, we were, shit dead as fuck. yeah, we were, we were just like sitting, chilling around in, in like sitting down in the chairs and shit, just bullshitting. And, uh, you know, we sitting right across from each other. Well, you know, just one random ass guy who doesn't have a fucking life goes in there. <laughs> she makes him, you know, a little sandwich or whatever. And he fucking leaves. She comes back and I'm chilling on my phone or whatever. She comes back. She sits right on my lap. Oh, what? And I'm oh, like, like that? <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's, that's the first question I mean, why would you sit down at work did, did you fucking I'm gonna call me? your old manager I'm gonna say what this did you fucking hear me there ain't nobody in there bitch <laughs> fuck no. that shit I ain't gonna be standing around so she comes to sit down on my lap well, what you think what's the first thing you thought? I mean I was just like why is she sitting down on my lap of course you, that's you the first thing why. I'm thinking or she's like I'm tired or whatever she's like stretching and like leaning back on me she's like I'm tired I'm tired. I'm like, Ugh. oh, okay. You know, I'm just, you know. I'm tired too. Shit. Yeah, I'm tired or whatever. Well, I mean, when you're working there, you got like certain duties and shit to do. You know, you got to clean fucking. Shout out all the subway workers. <laughs> got to clean shit. tables and change out fucking whatever. Yeah, do any of your well, duties imply we got plowing like, your coworkers? <laughs> so we got this uh, little rack thing full of chips. Mm-hmm. That hole, that hole was empty from the day, <laughs> and you know part of the duties is to go fill that hole up. So, oh, by the way, this is a this is a little while after she had you know done that. You know we were all, you know bullshitting or whatever. We were always like hugging and shit. Okay. You know talking talking deep talk and shit late oh, at night. Shit. Yeah. Whenever we we're getting ready to close and shit. Y'all had Drake on the radio. Yeah. Okay. No, it was always country music. That shit was. I hated working there. Um. So like, you know, some time passes. You know, we're getting a little bit closer. Not that close, or at least I don't think that close. But you know, we're getting a little bit closer. Well, one day I go to fill up this little chip shit. Yeah. And we got like a closet that's Mm -hmm. like full of boxes of chips and shit. Yeah. So, I. The way we, everybody who fills it up, they usually just pull that little rack thing right in front of the door so it blocks it. Mm-hmm. Nobody can go in there. And you just sit in there. They got a chair and shit in there. You just sit in there, fill that shit up. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, you know, I was filling it up. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were about, we, it was probably like 30 minutes or some shit when we were, before we closed. Mm-hmm. Usually nobody goes in there. Well,. She comes, and she's, like, standing behind that little rack. Mm-hmm. And we're just, like, talking bullshit. Well, she, like, moves it. And she comes in there with me. We're just, you know, sitting. She comes sit on my lap again. Mm-hmm. And, you know, by that time, you know, I'm okay with it because she's already been doing that for so long. Yeah, you're like, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, so I'm letting her fill up the shit because, you know, she in there. Fuck oh, that. She she's filling it up or whatever. And I'm just sitting there, and we're just talking. And we're talking about, uh. You know, her husband or whatever. She said like he had come through 
to her house with like another bitch to go pick up some of his shit. Oh no! And she was mad as fuck. Shit, I was my, I was mad. I was whatever. And she was like, I could just like, you know, beat her ass, whatever the fuck. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, she was getting mad, and she was like, I bet they're fucking, like in that car. Well, the car that she bought. Oh. It, it was. It was like his car or whatever. They had two yeah, cars. She hard. bought that car. Oh. She said, I bet they've been fucking in that car or whatever. And she was like, I can fuck somebody right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I was like. What? <coughs> <coughs> you mean like somebody like me? Oh, man, shit. I mean, I didn't say that. In my head, I said that. She was like, you know, I can just fuck somebody. I'm like, oh, okay, word, bet. <laughs> and then she's say like filling it up. She turns around. <laughs> She's looking at me, and of course, we just start making out and shit. I feel mm-hmm. it. All right. Well, making out turns into she got her lips on my dang lane. <laughs> she has and some I, set some yep. dressing. I'm a virgin. What does that mean? <laughs> she was sucking elaborate. my dick. <laughs> Please in, elaborate. In the chip closet. Oh, no. Shit, in the chip closet? Yeah. No, hold up. That. You're only a real gangster. You were eating chips while she was doing it. Bro, I regret that every single day of my life. Bro. That I was not eating Doritos. <laughs> getting my dick sucked. Bro. You would have been the most gangster motherfucker I've right. ever had in my whole life if you was eating the Doritos while she was sucking your dick, man. Oh, my God. So, goodness. yeah. Sucks my dick. And uh, that kicks off this little, I guess, fling or whatever. Mm-hmm. Pretty much every night, right after work, I got a well. I got a lot of my mom and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got I, I got to work late today, mom. I can't come on. I got work mom, late. Mom, I'm still living with my mom at this time. I'm still young, so I got a lot of her and shit. You know, tell her I gotta stay a little bit later. Pretty much every day, I'm telling her this shit, and we fucking every day. Damn, man. Jesus, all right. Yeah. Pretty much every day. And she was using you to get back at her and husband? I'm, I feel like, you know, it was like something was up, something was up with her. Like, Yeah. No, I guess not get back at hey, her husband. Hey, like, she took advantage of her. Right? I mean, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, Come yeah, on, man. Did. What the fuck? <laughs> I guess, yeah, you can say that getting back at her husband or whatever. I mean, he didn't really give a fuck. Oh, but yeah. Shit. Neither did you, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't either, shit. Did not give him a fuck. But yeah. She got some of Seth's own dressing that day. <laughs> and every other day after that for like two months. Damn. I remember when you told me that the first time I was crying my ass off laughing. Yeah. And that would happen. Then that's it. You eventually quit? eventually <laughs> I quit. You ain't talking? And to her? immediately stopped talking to her. And uh yeah, that's it. Hell yeah, and I'll be like, What's up, babe? Remember that closet? <laughs> 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 That's By crazy. then, I was already getting, you know, she was way older than me, so I was getting, you know, pussy my age. Oh, shit. Nigga. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. What you got, dog? What you got, Phoenix? What you. What do I got, what bro? Happened, man? I'm trying to think. I got bro. some stories, boy. I mean, like, I, I mean, I, I'm, I don't like going too much into detail. Uh, I guess I'll be just be pretty. I guess pretty. Uh, I guess blunt about it. I can't make stories as entertaining as y'all anyway. I just kind of get to the point. Well, how, how do I put this? Give me a random female's name. We'll, that, that's what we'll call her. Uh, Laura? Yeah. We'll no, her Laura. no, no, no. Uh, we, oh, we will not call her Laura. Uh, <laughs> we'll call her some bitch I used to put. Uh, let's see. Megan. We'll call her Megan. Uh, Wait, no, oh, that's not, not Megan. Megan. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, not, not Megan uh, from, yeah. Megan from high school. Don't want to get sweetheart excited. Call, call her... Uh, Hey, Megan, high school. Nah, I still, I still only see Megan. Alright, you still me. Okay, never mind. Uh, call her Alexis. Yeah. <laughs> call, her, yeah. call her Alexis, yeah. <laughs> call her Alexis. Yeah. Call her Alexis. Okay. <laughs> we'll call, oh, we're fine. We'll call her Alexis. So, this is one I'm working at this uh, Mexican restaurant. It don't exist here anymore. It's called La Fogata. Uh, Rest in peace. Bro, it... Best fajitas in town. Best food in town. What oh, you mean, shit. dog? Best, yeah, food best that Mexican I never restaurant ever in Victoria, dog. I never got to have any of this amazing food that Juan tells me about. Bro, the 
the fucking chicken fried steak was the best, bro. The Mexican chicken fried steak is the best bro, thing in the world, bro. When they told me about that, I literally came in my pants. And, the and then I got pissed. Shit on bro. Well, it's a chicken fried steak, and instead of putting gravy on it, you put a enchilada sauce and queso. Oh, God. Oh, bro. <laughs> Anyway. You can still get it if you go to their restaurant in Yoko, mi tierra. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out, <laughs> shout out to Ramon and them. Um, anyways, long story short, so there was a chick that started working there out, uh, out of the blue because we didn't really hire a lot of people. Because I've been, I had been working at La Fogata since they first, since before they opened. Like I was there when we brought all the chairs and tables in, and when we had to clean the whole place from from top to bottom, set up the tables and put everything. Uh, my mom even made like I guess technically like they made the original uniforms like their aprons and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because uh, it was funny because originally she was supposed to get a job and I ended up getting the job. So for like I think like for like the first year we didn't really hire new people. You know what I mean? So like after a year of working there they hire Alexis. Oh shit! Okay. And oh. um, Holy. she had I think like two kids. I think she wasn't oh, that old. Shit. She was like Word? she was like twenty five, twenty six, whatever. That's the yes. perfect age. Um. And uh, she was cool. She was real pretty, Mexican, about my height. Kind of like, who's Bill, would I say, that I could think of? She was real pretty. She had tats all over her body. Sleeves, Ooh, all over her neck. See, I mean, she was all, yeah, tatted everywhere. And uh, I, I, I've always been the nice dude, bro. Like, if there's anybody, like, at school or at work or whatever, like, there's a new person, I'll be like, yo, what's up, man? Like, I'm Phoenix. You know, like, like who are you? You know? get to know them so they don't feel weird you know what i mean because it's always it nobody ever likes the sensation of being the new person you know when everybody you see everybody laughing and talking and chilling and shit and you're like yeah. i don't know no you you know so i was the first one to talk to her whatever tell me that she was engaged whatever um and that she had two kids blah 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 whatever we worked every day and for the longest time i was the only dude that talked to her aside from my manager which was funny because my manager tried to smash too. She was real pretty. Bro. Oh shit! <laughs> it was it was crazy, but um, I guess she had no interest in whatever. Or maybe it was the fact that that dude's a whore and he fucking had like, yeah, he always had chicks on him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, anyways, one day, uh, what was cool about La Fogata was that the office was probably my favorite thing about it. Look, bro, like the office. You could go in, it had an entrance, like, from the inside or whatever, to go from the, you know, from the area where uh, the tables are, into the office, and there was a door that led outside. Okay. Well, it was a cool thing about it is there was a restroom in there. And, uh, bro, I'm, I don't mean, like, a restroom. I mean, like, a f- there was a shower in there. Oh, shit. There's a sink, bro. There was okay. all, t- bro, I was, there was all types of shit in there, bro. So, that day, it was kind of like a, like a. It was like a slow... It, it was going to be a busy day. I think it was somebody's wedding or something. They had bought out the whole restaurant or whatever. So we weren't really going to do shit that day. They, just, they're just, they literally told us, like, look, all y'all got to do is serve the food, blah, 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 whatever. And uh, they're going to be cool and they're going to let y'all eat and stuff. So we're going to oh, pay y'all for the whole day. Yeah, yeah, it was real cool. I had just gotten fucking off from school. I think I was in... I was a sophomore. I don't think I was a junior. I had to be a sophomore. You know, so... Um, what 16 you got 14, 15 16 yep. you know mm-hmm. and we had gotten close because like i said I, that was the only chick i talked to i guess her and her fiance were going through issues i guess whatever mm-hmm. and then he didn't want to get married after all oh, and, shit. and uh but she already had well i think one of the kids was with him or both i don't remember but i remember he was talking about like he wanted to take a custody of the kids blah blah, blah. you know how that oh, goes yeah, yeah you know so she was just pretty devastated but that day i got to work late so i'm over i'm over there like um so like as soon as i get there the first thing i do is i go take a shower or whatever mm-hmm. i go to the office or whatever and uh and i was like i was comfortable take a shower at work bro. yeah bro <laughs> yeah bro and i was and i was real comfortable bro because my manager he was real cool dog so like i never really did you know so i, I just kind of treated it like my like my home you know what i mean i mean i'm at this point i'm already there well over a year me and my manager we were real he was real cool you know what i mean and so i take a shower and like when i leave like uh the restroom to go into the office to get uh i guess i had left my shirt there on accident it was my, my backpack was there so i walk into the office shirtless okay oh shit <laughs> I was comfortable, bro. It was like my home, you know. I didn't expect nobody to come in. Mm -hmm. So, she walks in. 
And she sees me shirtless. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. <laughs> oh, this was crazy. I didn't expect it. She didn't say a word to me, dog. Not at all. She, she, she just... She look at you say something? Like, she, she looked at me for a second and... And, uh... Um, she just, like... She held my hand. And she led me to the chair that was there. Oh. She went. She closed the door. I thought she locked it. I guess she didn't. And oh, she closes God, the door. So and she sits... <laughs> On my lap, but facing me. Okay. Wraps her legs around me, and we right. start making out right there, bro. Man, yeah. She took, bro. I it like I I didn't, bro. I didn't argue it at all. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? She takes her shirt off, and you know, and I'm I'm taking her off. And this is what makes me mad, bro. Like as soon like she she's like unzipping, and as soon like like now I'm like ninety percent sure because what makes it even better is like we didn't like the wedding didn't start till like an hour or two after that. Okay. So I could have easily just taken to the restroom or whatever. My fucking manager walks oh in. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn. And it, like I told you, he was trying to smash. He was like, like "Wow, what the fuck are you doing?" And I was like, and and he was like, and she was like, and you, she's like, y'all two just, she's like, I won't say nothing. Just, just get dressed and just come help out already. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I was. Oh, I was so. That was fucking a cock. Mad block. Bro. Oh, I was so <laughs> fucking mad, bro. Like, I was like, if I was your manager, I'd have walked right out. I said, you know, uh, hey, 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 we gonna meet over here. We gonna meet in the office today. I would have said, my bad, hey, and closed the fucking door. I would have said, bet, and walked right out. Oh shit, bet, bet one. Like, <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, you fucking dick, bro. Like uh, again, and like I knew, like. Cause like he had let me do stuff like that before, like he d- he didn't care as long as it wasn't like on the clock and it wasn't like impeding with work, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was, but I uh, is again because he tried to smash, you know he, I I think he was just being a dick, and I was like oh, and I don't, and after that I mean, we didn't really, we never really brought it up or anything never like. I mean, we kind of had, like, a little romance thing, but we never, it never went further than that. And then I think, like, maybe, like, a month or two after that, she just stopped working there. Man. Yeah. Oh, uh, I was, I was like, oh. Uh. Hey, fuck it, though, man. That, <laughs> that shit was ridiculous, bro. I was like. <sighs> I remember what, like, it was this ghetto bitch that started working at this restaurant with us. Like, she was just real ghetto, bitch, loud as fuck, tattooed, like, them ugly tattoos, though, like, mm-hmm. like, just a random rose and a fucking... <laughs> Random rose. Yeah, spider web. What the <laughs> fuck? My homeboy, you the most generic oh, tattoo you got. My boy, uh, uh, homeboy Tony Snow, man. Where, wherever you at right now, dog. Yeah. He was there. He was like, man. We was real. I'm real cool. That's one of my best friends, man. And he was like, hey, fuck that bitch, man. And this always trying to holler at me on Facebook and everything. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, right. Fuck that stupid bitch. He's like, ghetto ass bitch. And he, he was saying that for like, she worked with us over good. Two, three months. Before we continue. Oh, Anybody want cookies? I'm about oh, to eat the cookies. cookies. Here. Let me take one, man. Shout out to Michaela. Hey, shout out Michaela. Shout Thank out Michaela. Michaela. I'll take this little half one. Anyway, yeah, I'll share this last one. I already had two. I was like, and I'm like, man, just fuck her already. He's like, nah, I never fuck that nasty ass bitch. I'm like, all right, dog, whatever. Whatever. Mm-hmm. And then later that day, man, it was like, it was just me, him, and her there. And uh, she, I guess she, they was both in the bag because I was up there in the front by myself. And I was like, oh, so let me go tell him. And the table walked in. So I was like, all right, let me go tell him. Sit the table. I'm going to tell him, my boy. He got the table. I go to the bag. I'm like, hey, hey, Tony. Tony, where you at, dog? So I like started, I go to the back where the sugar is and everything. Go yeah. there. And I look in the freezer. And I look in like in our cooler where we keep the salads. Mm-hmm. That bitch, he had that bitch on the wall making out with her and shit. Mm-hmm. Like tongue down her throat and mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. I was like, I thought she was a dirty ass hoe. Mm-hmm. He's like, she is. <laughs> and as soon as I saw that shit, I was like, you got table 18. And I walked right out. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh yeah. Shit. And dude, my face, I had like the biggest grin on my face when they walked back. I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I was like, this nigga, man. You say she the nastiest bitch. You ain't never gonna hook up with her. First thing you do. Tongue fucks her in the mouth. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. What we're gonna call? We're gonna call Tom Fucking. Oh yeah. So shit, what y'all got going on? Oh man, about to smoke these black and miles when we done. About to go record this podcast later. Another one. What's up with your channel, Juan? You need to be fucking posting. I haven't, I haven't posted anything because uh yeah I um 
Mm, fucking, I made a new channel, The Essence Podcast. Um, I feel for it. the new fucking podcast. I felt like the gaming thing just wasn't gonna work, and I felt like if I was gonna do ran- different random podcasts, you know, it wouldn't make sense in a gaming channel. You know what I mean? Um, I like it. We've been doing this uh, dream match thing that I've been that I think I talked about it in your last video, so I'm not gonna elaborate on it too much. You know what I mean? Uh, but tonight. Doing Sora from Kingdom Hearts against Kirito from Sword Art Online. I'm about to go smoke Martin's goofy ass real quick because, like, he swears up and down. He takes Sora can fucking smoke, dude. I'm like, nah, you haven't seen the movie. Shout out, Martin. Hell yeah. Whatever name he decides to go by now. He said he doesn't, he didn't like his name. He said he just kind of picked it because it was like, I forgot. I said he said his Tumblr name or something. What the fuck? Who has Tumblr? I don't know. (laughs) I don't got nothing. I don't give a fuck. What's up with you, pussy? <laughs> 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 oh, no, man. I'm just chilling right now, dog. I ain't get my life back together. I need feel to give me a new girlfriend. You know, shit like that. A new girlfriend? Yes, I need a new one. I need a white one. Last one. model didn't satisfy you? You oh, weren't yeah, satisfied I'm with your product? <laughs> no, I'm fucking <laughs> I hate that bitch. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just getting my life back Who together. Who needs a girlfriend? We can have hoes. I feel it. I feel it. You know what's better? A girlfriend that lets you have hoes. Oh, um, if I could find one, that would be cool. But See, That's why I want one that like stupid ones. So they, <laughs> right. they can just be like, baby, I love you. It was a mistake. Like a lint. Never mind. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, man, that's why I'm, shit. Still, I'm still knocking away at that <laughs> shit, bro. I'm still Chill. <laughs> We're not going to expose nobody. That's an insight. You know show. who you are. Well, shout out, baby. Yeah, when you catch, when you Shout, out me cheating, <laughs> Shout out, beloved. Shout out, beloved. You catch me cheating for the fourth time, still don't leave me. Like you did the other nigga. <laughs> That's why I need one of them. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Sure, but I love you, so it's alright. <laughs> yeah. hey, we love each other. We've right? been through a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, I've oh, been through a lot shit. of pussy since I've been with you. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, can't wait to cheat on somebody again. I haven't cheated on somebody in a while. I'm indifferent towards it. I've been on both sides of that shit stick. They don't cheat on you anyway, so might as well do it before they get right? Fuck it. Yeah. I ain't gotta worry about that. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Just bring your own, whatever. Yeah, these cookies are good as fuck, man. Oh, yeah. I know, I eat the other one. Fuck you. I hope y'all hear me. This is all fucking inside. It's so good. <laughs> but yeah, that? I ain't got shit really going on my channel. Just a podcast, really. Yeah. World War II been, come out. So. Yeah, I've been dry on, on games and shit. I should be posting Rainbow and some Rocket League. Wait, Rainbow been, Siege? Like Tom Clancy? Yeah, oh, yeah what Rainbow Six Siege. I've been playing a shitload of those games, but I just haven't been recording or anything. Mm. But I fucking love those games right now. I should. I've been recording a lot of. Actually, I've been recording a lot of Rocket League, and I'm thinking of. Finally putting all my clips together. I'd smoke you. Making a little... League. Hell no. Hell yeah. How much you want to put up? Hell, I'll put I on will anything. smoke you. They just released the... Um, the fucking Skyline in that hole. Oh, for real? That hole is clean. Hell yeah. Yeah, I played it when I was up over there in Austin. It was fun. That's like all I did. Bro, it, that game Netflix is Netflix so and Rocket League. It was like... Because I don't like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> so yeah. I really want to get into that. Of course, World War Two. I'm waiting for that shit to drop. I kind of want to do a, a playthrough of the Fractured Butthole, but like with all of us. That yeah. Oh, bro, that hilarious. should be hilarious. We would bro. have to do it all in one night. So gotta yeah. play the Stick of Truth first, though. Yeah. Well, it comes with it now. Well, like, oh, I where? Guess when you buy it, because it says free with purchase, so I guess like it's probably like a yeah. download though. Yeah, like you yeah. just re-download it. Well, yeah. Just be on, I don't mm-hmm. know. Because I know like the new like Final Fantasy 15 that came out or whatever, like it. It said some shit like it came with the free movie because there's like oh shit Hooters. Anyways, uh, there's like um, <laughs> I was distracted for a oh, second. Chill. We need a, we need a Hooters in Victoria. Anyways, yeah, uh, yeah, we ain't no, got we no, got a. Hell no, we got some ratchet ass hoes working over there. If it was here, hey, we gotta import some the women in. Shooters. Hey, well, <laughs> yeah. nah, no, uh, uh, oh, they Quero's, Quero's. Quero's, bro. They changed their name like ten times. Already. I know. It's like long shot. I got a homegirl to work at Quero's. He's a fucking bitch that work at Quero's. Oh yeah, I was engaged for a day. We checked that work at Quero's. It That's was crazy. You know, yeah, everybody remembers the Facebook relationship thing. Oh yeah. Blew up the internet. I remember you got like 
I don't know how popular she was until my notification started blowing up. Got like 80 likes. Her dad, who hadn't talked to her in like five years, called her like, what the fuck? You're getting married? <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> hey, 80 likes. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. I was like, what the fuck? That's another story we'll have to say for another day, though. That shit was fun. That shit was hilarious. Oh, yeah, I got more. I got countless more. Oh, people. I know. I got homecoming night, prom night, my other homecoming night, the other homecoming night. Like, we, we had a bunch of shit to go on. But, uh. The bitch I fucked in the McDonald's parking lot. Give me some. Give me some. Uh-uh. Give me some. Was it with some Szechuan sauce? It was. Were you saving us some Szechuan yeah, sauce? Szechuan sauce all over a pussy, dude. It was everywhere, bro. Oh, but anyways, before I went off topic, when you bought the Final Fantasy game, it came one of the three movies. I was excited because, like, you know, Xavier's seen my collection. I like collecting, like, the actual discs and shit. Yeah. And then when I went, when I had to go buy that, like, oh, it's a download. I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to buy this. I'm going to buy this game. <laughs> fucking fuck that. Like, I thought you were going to give me, like, a hard copy or whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm good, man. I don't got nothing else. You don't got shit? Not really. Yeah, it's already time for us to end it anyway. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, just look at time. That's why I was like, I ain't got shit. No yeah, more. yeah, just fucking watch the podcast later while me smoke this goofy dude's ass real yeah. quick. I'm about <laughs> to smoke him, we bro. We have to bring a more com- comedic podcast this time. I last, know what last the fuck. Do too good. What right? the fuck? No, no, we get it. We got the feedback. We all right. We're gonna come. Okay, back. we get it. Okay, y'all want funny? Yeah, y'all want funny entertainment. All right, we got it. We got it. All right. Yeah, we we'll no, entertain no, y'all. No, no, fuck that. <laughs> Forty views on the last one. Five on this on this past one. What the fuck? Now we're gonna get more because I'm gonna put Rick and Morty in the fucking. I know. Oh shit! Oh yeah. I'm gonna put Swiss one sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna tag Swiss one. one sauce. I'm gonna get a hundred thousand views right there. Easy, bro. I know. Oh, I'm gonna put a uh, Swiss one sauce giveaway. <laughs> That's, a mil- That's a mil view, right? Right. <laughs> fuck now, YouTube's gonna fucking strike my channel down and shit. Right. Boy, don't be tripping For false claiming and shit. They're not shit. paying me anymore anyway. Right. Bro, when that sauce comes out, I'm going to get a job at McDonald's. I'm going like, to jack that shit and just leave and quit. I'm never going to work there again. Right. A whole box? A whole fucking crate of Sis One sauce? Yeah. Bro, you get rich off of that. I think it was... Who was it? Was it Andy Milanakis that sold like his for like 15k or some shit? Bro, did he for real? It, I don't... I want to... I could be wrong. I could have sworn it was Andy Milanakis. Some fucking celebrity had an original one. So I guess he found oh, it or something. Shit. And he sold it his one. I should you not one pack of Szechuan sauce, fifteen k, oh, or twenty five k, some shit I like that. I know they were selling like five, uh, like liters of it, like the original sauce. I forgot who. I, yeah, they're like this a Mexico liter or, or what? <laughs> What's his name? I think it was Dead Mouse. I'm not sure, mm-hmm. but I'm pretty sure it was him mm-hmm. that he bought one. The DJ? for like yeah for yeah. Like about fifteen thousand. God damn. I guess when you got money like that, that's what yeah, you can uh, fuck, you can just buy the fifteen k and shit. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, uh, yeah. Nah, yeah. It, I don't. But know. I know these these uh this latest version that just came out on Saturday. People were selling them for fifty bucks each. What? Fifty fucking. People dollars. wanted that bad, bro. That shit, like, bro, like, I guess this is why I said ah, I don't want to go to podcast even more, but <laughs> wait, but I'm gonna leave you on this cliffhanger. Like, I think what makes Rick and Morty like big. That has such a huge cult following, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the fans of it, they're they're heavy followers of it, which I yeah. feel is something that South Park and other shows don't have. You know what I mean? Especially South Park because it's trash. But whoa, whoa, nah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've grown a fan base. It's quick. ridiculous, bro. They've they grown it pretty quick, and those fans are loyal as fuck. Yeah. yeah. They're loyal as fuck. They're like they're like Cowboys fans. Unlike these hoes, anyway. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I guess that's it for this one. Oh, yeah, man, you a hoe too. Fuck you. Oh yeah. Hit us up. Hit us up for oh, real, bro. Are you gonna say fuck you and then hit me up? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah like the homeboy sure. Tabasco oh, yeah, right. Sweet says, one eight hundred HMU baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, text, you gonna text Brandon? You Instagram? You text yeah. Hell yeah. I got whatever. Whatever. Hit me up on Instagram. DM. Whatever, I'm good. If you ugly, I'm probably gonna respond to you anyway. So. <laughs> if you want to be on the <laughs> show, you, you know, just afraid. just hit us up. I'll give y'all my number when we get it. You want to be, I don't know, a groupie hoe while we're recording this shit. I don't know. Just let us know, though. Yeah. Let us know. We, we get you out. We fly you out. Chill. I ain't flying nobody yeah, out. They find themselves out, nigga. <laughs> Bitch, you better drive here. <laughs> <laughs> you better bring some food, too, while you come over here. Some shish one. Some shish one. Cook me, some, cook me hey, a sandwich. see Wendy's going to come out that Swassum sauce? Oh, yeah. He's yeah, responsive. Oh, yeah. I yeah. seen that bullshit. <laughs> Man, let's cut the shit off, bro. <laughs> let's cut this, bro, okay. before we... We'll see y'all, I guess.
like I don't know. Days next week. A few more know. days, I guess. We better go smoke these blacks and then drink Ble- a little bit smoke of Smoke a black and the yet. Hey, shout out Shannon Sharp, bro. The black and miles. Shit. He's, he, he was real as fuck for that. He brought that shit out on national TV. Anyways, we'll fucking see y'all later. Hell yeah. Peace the fuck out. Peace. Let's get it. Let's go.